All right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? My people, Manhattan, the Bronx, Queens, or Staten Island, my home world, Brooklyn. I mean, sad video as NBA, NBA great and legend, icon, Elgin Baylor passed away, as we all know, as we all, at the age of 86. You know, rest in peace to Mr. Baylor. He was an all-time great NBA player. Career averages of 27 points, 4 assists, and 13 and a half boards. 13 and a half boards. Now, mind you, he played in the era of Wilt Chamberlain and Bill Russell. You know what I'm saying? And his man, he's a 6'5", what is he, shooting guard? A 6'5", shooting guard, averaging 13 and a half boards. When he was a rookie, he averaged 25, 4 assists, and 5, 15 rebounds. 15 rebounds, man. And, of course, he led the Lakers to the finals where they got swept, unfortunately, by the Boston Celtics. In 60-61, he averaged 35 points a game, 5 assists a game, and 20 rebounds a game. Damn, this motherfucker put Russell Westbrook to shame. You know what I'm saying? He said, Russell Westbrook, Dennis Rodman. Y'all niggas ain't got shit on me. You know what I'm saying? You know, and over the course of those years, getting the Lakers to the finals, in 61-62, he averaged 38-5-19. and 62-63, Lakers got to the finals, 34-5-14. and 64-65, got back to the finals. Elgin Baylor averaged 27-4-13. and 65-66, his, his numbers dropped to 17-3-10. and 10. You know, he's an 11-time All-Star, 10-time All-NBA first team. He's definitely a decorated player. You know, he kind of paved the way for the high-flying players such as Dr. J and, of course, Michael Jordan. And unfortunately, Elgin Baylor doesn't get remembered because, of course, he didn't win a championship. He got swept by the Celtics in 59, lost to them in 62, 63, 65, 66, 68, and 69. In 69, they had Wilt Chamberlain. That was where they had Wilt Chamberlain. They lost to seven on their floor. In the Fabulous Forum. In 1970, they got back to the finals and they lost in seven to the Knicks. You know, of course, the Garden. You know, we all know Willis Reed had that, came out, scored two points, and Walcott Frazier had 36 and 21. 71, they got back to the conference finals where they lost to Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Oscar Robertson, and the, and the Milwaukee Bucks in the conference finals. The next year, had, you know, early in the 71 season, Elgin Baylor just announced his retirement. Unfortunately for him, because then the Lakers, led by Jerry West and Will Chamberlain, they had Hall of Famer Gail Goodrich. The Lakers went on a historic 33-game win streak, which is still a record to this day. They finished the record with 69-13, which was the best record in NBA history at that time until the 96 Bulls broke it. And, of course, they went on to face the Knicks in the finals, and they beat them in five games. Okay, Elgin Baylor, okay, they gave Elgin Baylor a ring, but, you know, he didn't play. You know, of course, he, he had retired early in that season, so he felt like he really didn't earn it. He didn't really deserve it, which is very unfortunate, very unfortunate. But, like I said, man, all-time great player, NBA icon. He's going to be missed. You know, he's a third, you know, black athletic icon to pass away this year after, of course, the great Hank Aaron and marvelous Marvin Hagler and Elgin Baylor. Now, listen, look, I'm not and I'm trying to get started nothing. But, you know, Hank Aaron and Marvin Hagler were both reported to have given the COVID-19 vaccine before they passed away. According to Tommy, the hitman Hearns, Marvin Hagler was fine right before he got the vaccine. And then after he got it, he had heart problems and trouble and difficulty breathing. That's going to Tommy Hearns, okay? Now, of course, we all know. I don't know if y'all watch NBA TV, but if you watch NBA TV, they're running a commercial called NBA Cares, and it shows guys like Dr. J and Jerry West and Bill Russell all getting the vaccine. Did, now, did Elgin get the vaccine? I don't know. If he did, hey, man, he probably didn't. You know, no, he probably did. They just didn't release that information because they don't want people, specifically black people, specifically black men, to get suspicious about the vaccine because, you know, Hank Aaron and Marvin Hagler already passed away from it. So, but it is what it is. Rest in peace, Mr. Baylor, and I'm going to see you all.